Here is how you can colorize black and white images or videos in Adobe Photoshop CC 2023. Select the black and white image layer, go up to the top menu, click on filter, neural filters, click. If you have not already downloaded the colorizing filter, just click on the little download link. Once the colorized filter loads, by default, this checkbox auto color image will be checked and that is Adobe Sensei, the artificial intelligence engine inside of Photoshop, doing its best job to automatically color the image. So that might give you the results you want right away. But if you want to fine tune it, you'll go down to the adjustments section where you can choose profiles and try to find a look that you like. And you can also adjust the sliders to fine tune it exactly how you want it. And when you get the look that you want, go down to the very bottom to where you see output Click on the drop down and select one of these options. I'm going to choose Smart Filter, then click OK. Now, back in the Layers panel, I can turn on or off the Smart Filter. I can change the Blending option by just double clicking on this adjustment here. So I can change the Blending mode. I can also reduce the opacity if I want to blend it into a layer below. And if I ever want to go back to the Neural Filters, I can just double click right on Neural Filters. That's going to open back that panel. I can make any adjustments. And here I have a black and white video that I downloaded from pexels.com. If I want to apply a neural filter, the first thing I'm going to do is convert this to a smart object. So I'm going to right click on the video group and choose convert to smart object. Then I'm going to come up to the filter menu and click on neural filters. I go to colorize. I'll enable colorize. I can choose one of the profiles or one of the presets. Use the sliders to make any fine tune adjustments. And then I'll come down to the output menu on the very bottom. I'm going to select smart filter again, and then click OK. And now this entire video is colored. Just like with the image, I can go back at any time and make adjustments by just double clicking right on neural filters. One word of caution. When you do add the neural filters to video, it tends to be very CPU intensive. So if your computer is struggling to play back the video after you apply the neural filters, just go ahead and export a copy of the video by going to File, Export, Render Video. When you open the rendered colored video in Photoshop, it should play back fine and then you can continue working on it. And that is how to colorize black and white photos or videos using neural filters in Adobe Photoshop CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.